Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see advanced keying and screen replacement in After Effects. So here in After Effects, this is our original shot here left side. So you can see this is our original shot here. And here we will also see how we can remove these tracking markers here in After Effects. And right side, this is our final output here. So simply just play and check. So this is our final output here after replacing this screens here in After Effects. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside After Effects here. So here simple just I input over this footage. So this is our original footage here left side. So just simply double click here. So easily we can see this is our original shot here. So now first we have to create a new composition in After Effects from our this footage. So simply just select this footage and just drag and drop on this compositions icons here. So this will automatically just create a compositions according to your footage information here. So now here just type created over this compositions here. Just play and check. So here guys, this is our sort here. So just we have to replace this screen in After Effects. But here, if you will see, we are getting this green screens and also we are getting these markers here. So these are our tracking markers. So you can see and also this character is interacting with our this screens here. So here first I am going to remove this green screen from this sort here. So for this, just simply we have to select this sort in this timeline here or in this compositions here. Then we have to click on this effects. Then in key category, just we have to select this key light. Then in this effect control panel, you will get this uh, key light effects here. Then first we have to select over this screens, which screens you want to remove. So simply in our this screen color, just we have to select this color picker and just we have to pick our screen. So simply just select this one. So now here, if you will see, we have removed this green screens from over this sort. Then after this, we have to check our mat because just we have to create a perfect mat here. So for this, in our this view, just we have to select this screen mat. So now we are getting this our final mat here. So this black area, which will be our transparent and this completely white area, which will be opaque. And this gray pixels which we are getting here, so this will be semi-transparent. So just we have to create a perfect black and white mat here. So for this, because just we have to make this area pure white and this area pure black, we can open our this screens mat options here, then in black. This value we can adjust if you want to make uh, this area pure black, so simply you can adjust if there is any maybe, if this is not pure black, so here we can see now this is just pure black. And this area just we have to make pure white. So for this we have to select this clip white value. Now just we can reduce this one here. So now we are getting this pure black and white mat. Now again just we have to select this final jet here. So now we are getting this final output here. Now just play and check. So here guys first thing simple just I have removed this green skins from our sort. Then here after this we have to also remove these actually tracking markers because in this screens we are getting these tracking markers. So how we can remove these tracking markers from this sort. So for this just simple thing just I am going to explain it here. So in this key light there is a options in downside whichever this out mask here. So we can use this option and just we can remove these tracking markers here. So simply just we can select over this sort. And just we can create a mask. So this is just only for explanations. Then after this, now just open this one here and just select the inside this mask option. Just we have to select none. Then inside this key light, in our this out mask options, just we have to select in this out mask this mask one because here just I've created this one here. So now if we will see here, just simply just I have removed this tracking marker from over this. But remember this one here guys, because this screen is moving. So we have to also animate our mask according to our this tracker's movements here. But we have to remove all these tracking markers. So just we have to create a mask according to these areas here. So here just I am going to just select this one and just delete this one here. So just we have to remove all these tracking markers. So simple, just, just I am going to create a mask where just easily we can create and see our actually interactions. 
so maybe here if you will see this one here so, so now just i'm going to create a mask at this frame here so simply just we can create now just close it here then again we have to select this one and uh, pick this none here so this will not apply mask on this layer here then after this guys because this screen is moving so we have to also animate over this mask according to this screen's movements here remember this one guys here just i've created this shape at frame 91 here so we can see this is not following here so for this what we can do we can track this mask according to this screen's movements here so for this again just we have to select this mask in this timeline then right click on this mask so we will get this track mask options so now here right side we will get this tracker panel here inside this we will get all the options here so here in this analyze just we have to select this position is k rotation is q because actually here screens may be some zooming or just moving here even if there is only position then you can select these options here so according to requirement just simply you can select all these options here so here just i have selected this position is k rotation and is q here now we can track our this mask here now just click on this forward track here so now this mask is following uh, this screen's motions here so we can see here so remember this one this is just garbage mask here okay so we can just stop it here because actually this marker is going outside from our this uh, area here or mask so simply again we can just uh, adjust this mask here and again we can track simply just we can adjust it here according to requirement then again we have to click on track forward here so remaining frame just we can track remember this one guys this mask just only for removing these tracking markers here nothing else so here just i have tracked this one here then remaining previous frame just we have to track so again we have to click on this track backward here so we can track these remaining frames here so now here just i have tracked this shapes according to over this screens or tracking markers movements here now here if you are getting maybe this one something so just you can adjust your mask here okay but this is just sufficient for us then after this again just in over this key light options in this outside mask just we have to select this mask one so this will remove these tracking markers from this screen here now again just we have to check so now here this is looking good here after but we are getting maybe some thing just we are getting this one here because maybe so again just what we can do just simply just we can again select this mask and just we can adjust it here so again just select this and then so easily we can see our mask and just we can adjust it here then again we can track here maybe frame by frame so this will actually override uh, here tracking data now again just we have to click on this track forward here so like this just you can adjust your mask then after this what we have to do so first till here just save our project here so simply we have to click on file and save project and just give a name till here just simple just i have removed over this green screens with these tracking markers here now after this what we have to do because now if you will compare this output with your original plate so what we are getting here switch so, top this effects here so easily we can compare so now actually this is our original plate so here if you will see this is actually yellow color you can see here but after removing this green skins so here this is also affecting on our this original plate so you can see here so here how we can restore all these color details here because by default if you are removing your chroma with the help of key light so key light applied some spill suppressor by default because here may be this green screen little bit just reflecting on over this character here so what we can do so for this simply in our this view options we are getting different different types of options maybe if you want to use only screen matte then you can select this one here even we can also select this combine matte here so here this is our matte here then we can use this matte and just we can 
apply with our original plate here and just we can remove this green skin but here just i am going to use this intermediate result here so here this will actually just remove this green stains according to this selections here and this will not apply any spill suppression on your sort here so you can see now if you will compare so we are getting all these colors details here so usually we can see here but because we are getting these uh, green spills here in this edges so for this we can reapply our another spill suppressor here so again after this again just we have to select this screens and just we have to click on this effect then click on this skiing and just we can apply over this advanced spill suppressor here so this will remove these spills here from these edges here so again just select this one here so now again same thing we are getting here so this edge also remove all these colors from here so in about this spill suppressor we can select in method this ultra so this is our output now if you will compare so we are maintaining here all these details here even we can also adjust all these values here according to your requirement if still you are losing your color details here but now this is looking good here and here this is also not showing any spells here after this just we have to track our this sort and just we have to place a screens here so for tracking a sort again just we have to select this original plate then in right side if you are getting this uh, tracker panel then simply we can click on this track motion and if you are not getting this tracker panel then simply we can click on window and just we can enable our this tracker panels here so again just we have to select this layer in timelines or our footage in timeline then we have to click on the track motion so this will automatically open this layer in this new layer window here so in this layer panel this will show you here original layer or original sort here not are uh, removing this green skin okay so here we are getting these tracking markers so we have to track these tracking markers because if you want to track these corners so actually character is interacting here so you can see maybe here is also interacting even at large this is also interacting so we can't actually track over these corners here so that's why we are going to track over these tracking markers here so again just we have to track all frame so simply first in our this track type we have to select this perspective corner pinning here so now we are getting these little bit distorted track points here because here just simply just i have little bit zoom in zoom out this screen that's why we are getting these disturbing points here so what we can do so again just we can delete this tracker here and again we have to click on the track motion and again just we have to select this perspective corner so now we are getting this perfect four points here okay then after this just easily we can place these trackers at this track points here so simply just we have to move this one so just we have to pick from this blank area so simply just we can move and just we can place and just we can adjust these search area and search region second one So now after this we have to click on this forward track or backward track according to our this playhead position. So simply just we can click on this track forward here. So now you can see here. So just we are tracking about this screen here. So here guys just I have tracked about this screen here. Then after this we have to apply this tracking data. So just simply we can apply this tracking data on a solid here. so because if you want you can also apply this tracking data on your direct footage which screens or footage you want to place it here but just i am going to apply this tracking data on a solids so in about this compositions first we have to create a new solid so right click in timeline then new then solid just create any solid just you can create or any color solid you can create then after this we have to click on this edit target here and just we have to select the dark solid which just you have created here now click on okay here and after this we have to click on apply here so now if you will see here just we are getting this solid here and this is just following according to this screen's movement here or which point just you have tracked here so now we can see here so later we will replace this solid with any footage or any video here now after this just later but i am going to show you here how we can replace this solid and just we can place any footage or images here so for this first simple just we have to select this solid then 
we have to click on this layer and pre-compose so here we have to select this leaf attribute remember this one this is most important things here then we have to click on ok here now just simply we can double click on this solid so this will open in this new composition then we can place any uh, footage inside this compositions here because this is actually our solid composition and this is our output compositions here so simply in our this solid composition we can place any footage and then we can place it here then after this we can adjust this instance so if you want to use entire footage then simply we can right click and just we can click on then transform and fit to comp here so we can place your entire screens here even if you want you can just adjust this footage according to requirements so if you want you can let a bit scale it here and just you can place it here so remaining things just you can adjust according to your requirement now after this again we are inside our this main composition here now if you will see here so simply just i have placed over this the screen so but we are also getting actually these black area here because just simply just i have dragged over this uh, only uh, this area here so if you want to see this area so by default after effects applied your tracking data according to these four points here that's why we are getting this result here now we have to extend this result till this screen's position here here to here just we have to place so for this what we can do so again just we have to select this solid then in this effect control panel we have to apply another corner opening because we are getting this first corner opening this is actually about tracking data okay so just we have to create another corner opening and just we can adjust over this area here so again just select this solid then click on effects and in this distort category we can select this corner opening then after this we have to place first this corner opening before this corner opening okay so remember this one so just we can move it here now just we can adjust this corner opening with the help of this corner opening just we can adjust over this screen here and this corner opening just applying tracking data here so just we have to adjust over this corner opening here now just simply we can adjust corner by corner so just we can move and just we can adjust over screen so we can see so just corner to corner just we have to adjust So here, guys, just simply just type adjust over this corner opening, and just we are getting this result here. Then after this, if you will see here, actually uh, this is our file output here. So this is screens, whatever just we have placed it here or just we have replaced here. So this is also actually just cropping over this character here because here this screen just I have placed here on top of this original layer here. So just simple, we can select over this solid layer and just we can. place it below this king layer here so simply just we can select and just move it here now we are getting this result here so now just play and check so here guys this is our final output here so now just play and check so here guys this is our final output here so we can see and this is looking good here and remaining color all these things just you can adjust according to your requirement maybe suppose if you want to adjust color for this screen here so simply just we can apply another color correction and just we can adjust it here so again till here just first same for project here then after this if you want to adjust color then you can select this uh, screen here then right click and just you can apply any color corrections maybe curve all these things and just you can adjust color all these things and many things just you can adjust according to your requirements So guys till here just type completed over this class advanced king and screen replacement in after effects so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching